Oculus Lip Sync technology significantly enhances the way users interact with virtual avatars by synchronizing the movement of the avatar's lips with spoken words. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive guide on how to effectively integrate Oculus Lip Sync technology with cutting-edge metaperson avatars within the Unity platform. Please make sure you have Unity version 2021.319 or newer installed for this guide. To begin, you need to clone or download the project from our official GitHub repository to your computer's local drive. After successfully cloning the repository from GitHub, proceed to open the project in Unity by launching the Unity Hub application. From there, click on the Add button and select the project folder you just cloned. In Unity, open the Metaperson Oculus sample scene by navigating to the project's folder and locating the scene file. Once you find it, double-click to load it into the Unity editor. Run the project and see how the Metaperson avatar on the scene is animated with the Oculus Lip Sync. Realistic avatars are impressive, adding life and relatability to digital characters. Avatars with Lip Sync enhance this by adding authenticity and engagement. When you start the project, an animated Metaperson avatar with Oculus Lip Sync appears. Click the button and a new avatar will be downloaded to replace the original. The audio and facial animation continue to work seamlessly with the new avatar. Let's see how does it work under the hood. There is a number of scripts attached to the avatar's game object. The audio source component is responsible for playing audio clips. The OVR lip sync context serves as an interface to the Oculus lip sync engine. This component should be added to the scene once for each audio source. To configure the OVR lip sync context, we need to provide the reference to audio source. OVR Lip Sync Context Morph Target bridges the output of the Visum detection system to the morph targets of a skinned mesh renderer. It allows you to control the facial expressions of a character model based on the detected Visums. For Metaperson avatars, we need two OVR Lip Sync Context Morph Target components attached, one for avatar head mesh and another for lower teeth mesh. For the first instance of the OVR Lip Sync Context Morph Target, we will reference the avatar head skinned mesh renderer. We also need to map the skeletal mesh blend shapes to lip sync visemes. A similar configuration should be done for the second instance of the OVR lip sync context morph target. Here, we reference the avatar teeth lower skinned mesh renderer and set the corresponding visemes mapping. Now, let's take a look at the on button click method of the Oculus Sample Scene Handler class. When we change the avatar in the scene to one loaded from the cloud, we call the load model async method of the Metaperson loader class. After that, we perform a runtime lip sync configuration. Here, we call the configure method of the avatar SDK Oculus tools and pass avatar objects to it. The purpose of this method is to configure an avatar object for lip syncing. After that, we swap the avatars using the replace avatar method of the Metaperson Utils class. Oculus Lip Sync significantly enhances the realism of Metaperson avatars by ensuring that their lip movements are synchronized with their speech. This technology provides a more immersive and believable interaction, where avatars can convincingly mimic human conversation patterns, making virtual engagements feel more authentic. Explore our Unity Lip Sync demo to see this technology at work, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for new tutorials and updates on avatar technology.